Ah, oh, fresh air. You've just had the most enjoyable and relaxing day outside. But now you're experiencing headaches, fever, nausea, dizziness, and the chills. Could your perfect day outdoors be making you sick? I bet some of you may have an idea of what caused those symptoms. Well, you're going to have to stick around to find out what the culprit is. Trust me, you're going to be surprised. But first, I want to discuss a recent study. It's been in the news a lot. It's about arsenic being found in rice. Now, that study that came out, it was actually from Consumer Reports. It states that eating rice once a day could increase arsenic levels in your body by at least 44% leading it in some cases to be at a worrisome level of inorganic arsenic. So, of course, everyone's asking, mm -hmm. what do I do? Right, and they, Do I avoid rice? What's going on here? And they found it in different products. They, and they tested infant cereal, rice, pasta, and drinks. And what they found was brown rice, which you try and eat because, you know, you think it's going to be healthier than white rice, actually has more of it than white rice. And the reason is because the carcinogen is mostly prevalent in the outer layers of the grain, and white rice is polished, removing some of these layers. So that's why the white rice is actually the, the uh, healthier. You know, obviously, we're not arsenic experts, and to help us make sense of these findings, we actually have Ravashi Rangan on the phone, who is the lead scientist on this study. You know, what does this study mean? What should we be doing? Our goal is certainly not to alarm people, but really to inform them about a problem that's going on. This is a food commodity that likes to take up arsenic from the soil, especially when it's there. Um, as foods go, it tends to collect one of the highest levels of arsenic out of the soil just because of how rice is grown. We're telling consumers to go ahead and moderate their consumption of various rice products so that they can mitigate their risk. As a consumer, what does that mean, moderate consumption? Should we be having no more than one serving a day? Do you think that's too much? For adults, we're saying try to limit your consumption of rice to no more than two uh, quarter cup dry rice servings a week. The majority of Americans eat about two and a half servings a week. So it's not a huge cut from what most people are eating. For children, we're saying, especially when it comes to things like rice milk or rice beverages, that they really shouldn't be drinking that on a regular basis uh, under the age of five. And when it comes to cold rice cereals, we think that kids should sort of keep their exposure limited to about a cup and a half of rice cereal per week. Um, and so those are just some examples of, of how we're trying to advise people to really mitigate their, mitigate their consumption so that you can stay in at least some sort of area of better protection while the government is setting standards. What about some of the suggestions that, for instance, brown rice, which is considered a whole grain, may have higher levels than white rice? Is that something that... I mean, it's true that Within any given brand, the brown rice has more arsenic than the white rice. It's just how it distributes in the actual grain of rice. But that said, brown rice we tested from certain regions, like California, actually had um, less arsenic than white rice is from other places in the south central United States. Another helpful tip for consumers, if they are preparing rice, um, is to rinse it thoroughly until it runs clear. And also, cooking in large volumes of water, one cup of rice to six cups of water, um, has been shown by some studies to actually reduce the levels of inorganic arsenic by 30%. Well, that's that's great takeaway. I want to thank you so much for helping clarify the results of this study. Uh, thanks again for being with us, and uh, take care. Thank you.